Welcome to the Denise Hill Experience with stories and interviews that educate, inspire, and encourage. Now, here's your host, Denise Hill. Hey family, it's your girl Denise Hill. Yes, it's another opportunity for me to share with you some of my experience, the Denise Hill experience, all up and through the music industry and radio for many decades now. I've had a great opportunity to meet all types of people, celebrities, artists, politicians, and whoa, the stories they have, the wisdom they shared with me, and I just want to share it with you if you don't mind. (laughs) Somebody I have for you in this episode, she is a legend. She is a voice. She is a lady. Lady Tremaine Hawkins, to be exact. I first became aware of Tremaine Hawkins when I was a preteen. To be honest, that's about the time when I really began to be consumed by music, by singing, by radio. My dad always played what's now the classics (laughs) all through the house, On our long trips driving down to South Carolina to see family, we'd hear all the legends. Al Green, Mighty Clouds of Joy, Jackson Southern Airs, Hattie LaBelle. Yep, gospel and secular. (laughs) Heard them all. And when I was at home, I loved that scratchy sound of an LP and the needle as it picked up more and more lint as it went around. (laughs) I loved it. Loved it, loved it. That's when I fell in love with radio also. You should check out that full story in my book, Pass the Mic, Stories and Lessons from a Life in Radio. I talk about it all in there. But it was around that preteen age, 12, 13 years old, that one song came out that made a huge impact in radio. It was Fall Down by Tremaine Hawkins. Now those familiar with the legendary Walter Hawkins, the Hawkins family, Edwin Hawkins, the Hawkins singers, that was the name that helped really create the contemporary gospel music industry. So here comes Tremaine Hawkins and everyone in the church knows her as a gospel artist, but she's got this song, Fall Down, on me that starts being played in clubs and not just any club i'm talking the legendary like studio 54 like it's rivaling some of the top disco tracks of that time so i was dancing along with everybody else to fall down by tremaine hawkins definitely made an impression on me at that age but then she rolled out another song that completely consumed me and made her one of the top people i would love to talk to at some point in my life didn't know i'd get the opportunity at that time but But my, oh my, her song, Holy One, it still hits me to this day. Like, I don't care who remakes it. I don't care who sings it again. I don't care who re-records it. It is a Tremaine Hawkins classic and will forever, ever, ever be one of those songs that just has me on the floor, just crying, bawling. I just... It's just one of those songs. I need like a 20 minute version of it to be (laughs) honest about it. Love, love, love those songs, those classics by Tremaine Hawkins. She was no doubt one of the women in the gospel and inspiration music industry that completely changed the face of gospel music. She blew the wall to pieces of what was possible for artists to do and where it was possible for them to go. See, it was one thing to cross over from the black church into the white church, also known as the CCM market. It was another thing to cross over from traditional gospel music to contemporary gospel music. But she went from the church to the club and she didn't even do it on purpose. Oh, I'll let her tell you all about it. I can't wait for you to hear this interview with her. I got to sit with her when I was a program director and morning show host at WLIB in New York City. She came through. She sat with me and she talked with me, not just as a gospel music artist, not just as a legend, but she talked with me as a woman. And at that time, I was going through my divorce. So always looking to pull wisdom from someone who's had challenges similar to mine so that I can learn from them, maybe apply some principles that can help me kind of get to the next level of healing or progress or whatever's in front of me. I asked her about her divorce with the legend legendary Walter Hawkins. What she exposed to me at a commercial break after she told me all about it was that she had never spoken about her divorce in public. 
Never. The very first time was with me. What an honor for her to trust me with that and to speak to the hurt woman in me and to all those who were listening. Yeah, she really spoke to the hurting that day and let what she went through be an example of perseverance, of hope, and of healing. You got to hear this. Please enjoy my experience with Tremaine Hawkins. But that was excellent, Lord. And uh, Kurt yes. Carr introduced you on that one. Yes, he did. And my son wrote that one, Denise. Yeah. Uh, my son, Jamie Hawkins, wrote that excellent Lord. Uh, he uh, has written a couple of other um, praise and worship songs uh, on this CD. And we actually do a praise and worship medley. And uh, it's something new for me, but uh, it's it's awesome up in here. It, it, it really is. And God really... Um, I gave him um, a wonderful, wonderful way of introducing the medley by writing uh, the songs he wrote, Come Holy Spirit and Worship You, some of my favorites. And then we go into uh, a worship and uh, worship medley that everybody can sing along with mm -hmm. and everybody can enter in and just worship the Lord. So we yep. are thrilled. It's, it's interesting Praise to hear God. you say it's something you're not used to. That's right. When you've been doing this for like, more than 40 yes, years 40 years but i i've i've i haven't really done a praise and worship you know in terms mm -hmm. of a, a, there are a lot of praise and worship cds out mm -hmm. and this is my first time really uh taking the time to to really concentrate on 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 that particular genre praise and worship and i love it i must say i really really love it your music has has literally it, it's followed the I guess you can call them trends of music. Praise God. And, it has, um, it has. You know, because I, I was flipping through one of your older CDs. Yes. And you had a disco jam on there. I did. I <laughs> did. Way back in the day. Uh, fall Down. That. You know, let's talk about yes, Fall Down. And then yes. we're going we're gonna to play that disco jam in a little while. All right. And, but All Fall right. Down. Yes. Um, from what I remember in mm -hmm. terms of uh, it's the publicity surrounding it. Yes. Yes. The whole controversy about it being played in clubs. Yes. And um, yes. people embracing it on the secular side. Right. Number one on the dance charts. Yeah. I didn't know what a dance chart was back in the day, Denise. Now, <laughs> because let's see first oh happy day yes got that scrutiny that's right then your song and kirk franklin it seems like at least yes. once a decade once or twice a Isn't decade that there's a song that crosses yeah. over and the, the the body is just like oh <gasps> Isn't that something? Yeah. Did you get, did you, did you feel personally the attacks from the church? Absolutely. I heard it on the radio all the time. Really? Yeah. And uh, it, 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 it was the kind of thing, Denise, that um, it wasn't just that they were attacking the song. They were attacking my walk with yeah. the Lord and why I, I, I did such a thing and how could I do such a thing? Um, because, you know, as, as uh, Teresa uh, used to say, you know, I was known at that time as as you know gospel sweetheart or something yeah, like that yeah and it was just so out of the ordinary for me and it's amazing and i look look at what what gospel uh, uh music the 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 idea of um the industry you know the genre now and mm -hmm. and how we have just really moved into a totally different direction in yeah. terms of urban and and you name it out there gospel rap and all that yeah. <laughs> it is it makes a, a, a <laughs> to me fall down so, see, like mile, <laughs> real mile but you know it was new Denise yeah and it was different and and no one was doing anything like that at that time mm -hmm. and just like with with oh happy day you know it was new uh and, and so anytime you you're on the cutting edge you to do something new uh, you're going to have the scrutiny and and i'm just uh, uh grateful to god that that he allowed me uh to experience that because so many young people denise mm -hmm. i mean a, uh, um a real uh, fan base that I hadn't even had right. because uh, you know Oh Happy Day even though it was contemporary it, it was still a tradition it was choir right, you know right. uh, and, and, and when the church you know uh, 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 kind of relaxed relaxed mm -hmm. about it in, in a little bit they were all singing on happy day in their right. churches you right. know and then uh when it became really big they said oh we 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 love we love the hawkins family we we, mm -hmm. we 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 never we we never stopped supporting them we always loved them you right. know <laughs> right <laughs> and uh so we we know how that thing goes but but i i i was just uh i was just inspired uh by the fact that 
that uh, so many young people said to me when I and I and I admit to going to the clubs in mm-hmm. New York. I went to one here that uh, was used to be catered to young people. Mm-hmm. Four o'clock in the morning. You remember that studio? It was a no, no. Was I don't it? remember. You don't remember? No, I don't that? remember. Well, uh-uh. well, <laughs> they said, "Don't don't put me back in that day, girl. I'm too young for that." I don't remember <laughs> club, huh? Stud- <laughs> studio Fifty Four. Yeah, Ben remembers. Jeff, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, he remember. He remembers. <laughs> and and at that time, Denise, uh, there was no alcohol served, but the young people could go mm-hmm. and just have a ball. You know what I'm saying? They could just dance till you know they fell out someplace. You know, and uh, uh, I was offered and invited to, to come because of fall down mm-hmm. to studio 54 and when wow. I came in I mean it was all it was literally over 4,000 kids there I, I ne- I've never been to that kind of setting before with that mm-hmm. many young people you know I, I was just pushed through the crowd so to speak and they said okay you know uh, ladies and gentlemen you know here's Tremaine and and they started playing fall down and I and I sang fall down and right after that uh, uh, they said okay now uh, you know she's gonna come back with, with some more of her stuff so you know you all get ready you know and I and I chose to sing Changed and Holy One. Wow. And uh, I literally introduced those young people to real gospel you know what I'm saying wow. and and they uh, I can't I can't tell you how many letters and and uh, uh, how, ma- how many messages I got uh, through my record company at that time mm-hmm. that uh, they uh, uh, had said Tremaine I haven't been to church since my grandmother took me and because because of your appearance at mm-hmm. this at, at the club 54 I'm gonna go back to church I'm gonna start listening to gospel I mean they they at that time started listening to to uh, Shirley Caesar mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. you know James Cleveland yeah. and and all the old greats you know and uh, uh, learned about you know real gospel music yeah. and uh, 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 and on top of that they were introduced to Jesus Christ which is most important that's the most important and I, I just thank God for it because that's that's something perhaps that I don't know maybe I wouldn't have ever experienced that yeah. if I hadn't launched out if I hadn't taken the hits and, and the criticism and, and done a song like that Tremaine Hawkins from her new CD title, I Never Lost My Praise, live. <laughs> That's yes, kind of full live. circle for you, huh? It is. It really is, Denise. It really is. Now, yeah. what, what made you want to do this song again out of all the remakes out of that all you could have? Yeah. Rem- and you yeah. know what? I say that on this CD that there are so many people that have uh, recorded this song, Oh Happy Day. Uh, you. you you name it, instrumentals, mm-hmm. you know, uh, because uh, and, and I was just saying um, yesterday that you cannot go uh, abroad, overseas mm-hmm. without singing this song. It is yet still the most popular gospel song wow. still. Isn't that something yeah. after all these years? Yeah. And uh, I, I just felt it was time, you know, for me to put my little touch to it. You know, <laughs> I mean, that, it, and it also... Uh, uh, says, you know, where I've come, come yeah. you know what I'm saying, in, in terms of coming full circle. Mm-hmm. And those are, that's my beginning. Yeah. And, and and a lot of times you, you need to revisit that. Mm-hmm. You need to let people know, hey, listen, I was part of that history, yeah. you know, and uh, I sang in the background. But uh, look at God now. He's a allowed me to have a solo career that has lasted over 40 years now mm-hmm. and, uh, and and I'm grateful I, I'm grateful that uh, um, I, I have the opportunity to, to still minister mm-hmm. I'm grateful to to still be relevant to to for people to uh, uh, endear themselves to me I mm-hmm. endear themselves myself to them and uh, you know God has, has given me a good name you can't buy that no you can't no, no. buy that and, and, you're I, not- and I am so grateful to God yeah Yes, I you're, you're not just part of gospel music history with this song, but also part of, um, I, I don't even know how to say it, but ministry history, so to Praise speak, God. how, how Praise you evangelize. God. Because uh, Oh Happy Day did make it out into the secular area, yes, but, but the choir can't go out and That's necessarily right. hit the clubs and whatnot. That's so right. you were the first individual Praise as God. a gospel artist Praise who God. knew, uh, who had a relationship with Christ yes. and knew who she was yes. and had no problem with stepping into no. some place that was not within a, a, a church and a steeple, yes. you know, environment and, and spread the, the word of Christ. Hallelujah. You know what I mean? Right. And so you were that first person <laughs> Praise God. that, that yeah. we can document, we'll say. Yes, <laughs> you know, yes, because I'm sure there are many yeah. others. And, uh, and, and I'm, and I'm, I, I, 
that's why, Denise, I try to, to encourage young people. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I know that uh, a lot of young people listen to us uh, as pioneers and those of us that, you know, have been around for, for all these years and have, you know, been through the ups and downs of this industry. And uh, I, I try to to encourage them, you know, to to really hold fast uh, to their gift and their calling mm-hmm. um, because I, I, I don't want them to get caught up into styles you know, and, and, and trying to be so different yeah. that, you know, you miss the essence, you miss the message, mm-hmm. uh, you miss the word, you know, yeah. uh, you, you, you miss the feeling, you know, uh, uh, you play, uh, um, you know CDs records you know all day long you know right. this is this is what you do you know and thank god for for announcers like yourself you know that that keep the music alive and continue to play the music and and play it uh, 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 when it's it's not number two on the charts yeah. and not not in the top 10 and mm-hmm. so forth you know you continue to play the music but what people receive, Denise, when they're they're listening to to a, a song that that melts their heart, that 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 causes them to think, and 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 to reflect, you know, and to say, hey, you know, Lord, are you pleased with yeah. what I'm doing? You know, uh, uh, am am I am I uh, uh, walking in 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 the way that you'd have me walk? You know, uh, are you ordering my steps? Am am am, am I uh, 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 really? Uh, 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 the kind of uh, uh, witness that you want me to be, right. and 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 the music, you know, a lot of times it stirs us up. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it prepares us for what God is really trying to say to us through the Word. Yeah, and 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 if we get so caught up in in you know the uh, gymnastics of it, you know, and and, and the the uh, uh, the uh, trying to be so unique and mm-hmm. and 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 so different the and with the beat and, <laughs> and thank you, right, yeah. and caught up in, in in trying to feel like, well, if, if I don't do it like this person, if I don't sound like this artist, I'm not going to get played, mm-hmm. and 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 I'm not going to go to number one, and that might not be what God has for you. Yeah. You see, and 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 I'm a witness to that because uh, I, I've been around these these many years, and and I've seen how how styles have come and gone. Mm-hmm. I've seen how um, uh, musicians, how artists, groups have come and gone. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 but uh, you want to stay the course. You yeah. know, you want to be here uh, uh, to say and, and and to the next generation. You know. Uh, uh, God led me to do this, yeah. and 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 this is the reason. You know, it, it it was it was it wasn't so easy. You know, it wasn't a bed of roses, mm-hmm. but I hung in there, and 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 this is is this is the result. You know, God has given me uh, 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 a harvest. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And that's yeah. what it's everybody about. Everybody has Denise. a different plot of land they're supposed Absolutely. to feel. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody has a different, and that doesn't mean that everybody's going to be number one on the charts, no. like you said, or even known, you know? Absolutely. You, you may never get played on the radio, and God still may have it in, in your will, in his will to yes. have you sell a million that's CDs. That's right. And that's nobody right. ever hear from you. you or to, mm-hmm. And whatever way he, dis- he so exactly. desires. Exactly. And that should be the ultimate, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, many, many, many years, Denise, I, I sang in the background. I was a part of a choir. Mm-hmm. I was a part of a group mm-hmm. and 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 for years you know no one knew you know I'd been singing a long time before change and going up yonder right you know what I'm saying but uh, 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 God had a purpose in that mm-hmm. and 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 I and I love that because I learned you know I listened and 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 when my time came I, I don't think I had a, a big head you know what I'm saying right. and, I, and I'm not trying to knock anybody but I don't think I walked into places you know look at me you know yeah. I, I, I stayed humble where God uh, 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 had had allowed me to grow mm-hmm. and I remember you know being in the background being a, a, a supportive right. you know and, and pushing someone else in the front and sometimes uh, I, I feel that's the best way yeah yes you know I want to talk about something that I think you can um, also lend some wisdom to because it was your personal experience yes um, divorce mm-hmm. uh, yes very very a very popular a very um, not popular but uh, publicized yes divorce yes um, of another uh, popular celebrity gospel music artist mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, it was at a time when it, that wasn't something that was prevalent especially no. in the church no no, um, no you were married to, to Bishop Walter Hawkins yes and um, tell us about that time and what you learned from it and what you can share with other women right now on one how to how to 
how to exist and still hmm. have your joy and everything right. if you're in that process or all even right. how to save <laughs> your marriage. All right. All right. You know? Well, I can I can I can talk to uh, Denise uh, uh, how to weather that. Mm -hmm. I can talk to uh, 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 women that are going through that. Uh, it was a very painful. Uh, it was a very hurtful time. In fact, honestly, it felt like. Uh, uh, it felt like grieving. Mm -hmm. You ever hear, hear people say, you know, going yeah. through divorce? I mean, some divorces. I mean, can't, I can't speak to everybody's, you know, but mine uh, uh, over 13 years. Uh, and not only did uh, 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 we have a marriage together, we had music together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, uh, that also was taken away. You know, that was uh, I mean, that was interwoven into our marriage. You know, mm -hmm. you didn't see. Uh, Walter a lot of times without Tremaine and see the Hawkins without Tremaine or whatever like that and and uh, uh, knowing that and knowing uh, you know you, 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 your friends or, or your your husband's friends and all that you know uh, and and when they leave you know where are your friends and yeah. I, I, and I know a lot of women can 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 attest to mm -hmm. that they can they can identify <laughs> with that you I'm know it's almost asking like asking your whole question, world yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. turned upside down and. Um, I I, I, uh, I used to kind of you know um, uh, you know preach you know you know to myself and later on I even you know talked to my children and and and, and gave them an insight in terms of um, uh, uh, really knowing uh, who you are in God. Mm -hmm. And knowing your place and not feeling that because, uh, you know, the, the, the rug has been pulled out from under you mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, you have been under uh, this banner and this comfort zone for all these years. Mm -hmm. And now you're somewhat out here on your own. You have to reestablish yourself or whatever. But uh, first of all, you have to hold on to the fact that you're God's child. Yeah. And 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 he won't his word says won't put more on you than you can bear. So if he allows you to go through it, you can bear it. And in bearing it, then you can can uh, 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 say to yourself, he gave me a gift. Mm -hmm. He gave me a talent. Uh, he uh, uh, I mean, I don't know. You you might be uh, 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 gifted to to write. Uh, you might be uh, gifted to to just uh, 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 be an executive, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you, you might be in a stage now where God is preparing you to to, to a higher level. Uh, you might be somewhat in the uh, 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 on the base uh, 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 of of your particular uh, job or whatever. But God might be allowing you to go through that right now, so He can elevate you. Mm -hmm. You need to stand strong. Uh, you need to hold fast to, to your family. If you have a supportive family, hold fast to that. Uh, get in encouragement from them yeah. you know talk to people that have gone through it um and i wouldn't that I wouldn't. is the i need you to repeat that because it's such shame <laughs> oh attached to it especially Lord. when you're in the church that you don't want to say Lord, nothing you still to come people. to church with a smile on your yes. face and you still and nobody knows tell and me about it so, and it shouldn't be that I, way yeah, i need you to say talk that to one people again. that have gone through it yeah you know and a lot of times even in talking about it it heals you mm -hmm. you know it, it did with me I, I i i said like i said i said to my children you know i didn't give up yeah. you know uh and, and and that's why i i thank god for for this cd because it is actually my testimony i've got like testimonies in this cd mm -hmm. i never lost my praise because in even in that even in divorce and 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 the shame of that mm -hmm. you know uh you know you know, you are singing the gospel and, and y'all can't make your marriage work you know mm -hmm. uh you know all of that and and and, and of course, at, at that time, I was a young uh, first lady, you know, uh, uh, you know, doing all I knew how to do in, uh, to be supportive. But I know that now, looking at what they have out there now, and and, and the and the sources they have out there now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the 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 first ladies that that come together and talk with one yes, another, yes. share with one another. I didn't have that back in the day, yeah. you know. So it is important to latch on to those kinds of of, of, of friendships mm -hmm. and, and those kinds of groups that can they can hold your hand and walk you through that you know and uh, uh wow uh, you know it can be a whole nother thing for you yeah. and but but the main thing as i said to, is to know who you are in god yeah. and know that he has a purpose for for the 
and there's a reason for you going through that and and be strong in that you know uh, uh, you know you're gonna cry you know my God you know I, I thank God for the song I thank God for my singing because uh, uh, I used to sing through my tears a mm. lot of times people would see me on stage you know and they'd see me and a little cry in my voice and stuff you know there were many times I was crying just about that that mm. situation but I thank God that uh, he has uh, uh, held me he put his arms around me he comforted me and uh, let me know Tremaine uh, uh, there's a reason for for this situation and wow. you'll be able to just like today mm-hmm. you asked me that question you you'll be able to stand and tell some some woman out there uh, that's listening right now girl you can make it wow. just hold on be encouraged thank you I'm gonna steal that one for me y'all can I share it with you it's okay but uh <laughs> I'm gonna take God. that one for me that's God for the opportunity to share and uh, I, I encourage more people to do that yeah uh, and uh, you can really really uh um I feel uh, not only by doing that, you allow God to use you, but it's healing. Yes. It really is. And I, I just want to, to uh, encourage you uh, uh, ladies and, and men, uh, because I, I did get a call from uh, a man that said he was going through divorce. Isn't that something? Wow. Yeah. And uh, he, he was uh, inspired by what I said. And uh, I, I want to also say that... Um, you know during that time was it was a very difficult time but i just stopped um I, I stopped looking. I stopped uh, 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 anticipating, mm-hmm. and I just allowed God to to lead me and to and to use me uh, in in the ministry of gospel music. And lo and behold, God sent me a real you partner know what? in life. That's what I was going to ask Is you. That be- something because oh. what at what point did you know you were healed and whole enough to yes. move on? Well, I, I was divorced uh, uh, before I, I, I remarried. Uh, I think about eight years, and. Um, you know, I traveled these United States and, and abroad. Uh, you know, sometimes it was very lonely. You know, I, I even said one time, you know, coming back to uh, empty home and a lot of the kids were growing and, 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 and moving on and, and doing their own thing. And, and it, it was it was a struggle there. But, um, you know, God had had that all uh, under control and and had me in a place where he was just ministering to me. And 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 I was getting uh, 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 to know him on a real real personal level and then God said all right uh, 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 I think I'm gonna bless you with a partner you know sometimes we look for uh, we look for uh, as some as my, my auntie used to say a tall drink of water yeah, you know what I'm now. saying Woo. we look at the outside <laughs> and we get carried away and say and you know and all that's good and, and I think you ought to say to God just what you want and there's there are ministries out there say hey tell God wh- exactly what you want what you need and uh, I, I think God said, well, you know, uh, I, I know Tremaine now. And and, and, and uh, she had, you know, uh, 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 opportunities to have all of that. But I'm going to give her a partner. Yeah. Somebody who, uh, first of all, loves the Lord, mm-hmm. uh, and loves the ministry of, of gospel music and uh, and will be supportive yeah. and, and will be the kind of per- uh, husband that yeah. she needs. Yeah. You see, there's a difference. You preaching know, now. we so want a lot now. of stuff, but uh, we don't need a lot you're of stuff. Now. She preaching now, see? And he she knows he, now. he knows just what we need. Mm. And he sent Brother Tommy E. Richardson Jr. All right now. And uh and we have been married over 13 years wow. now. Is that something? That's phenomenal. Still going strong. He is my partner in life. That's and phenomenal. I and I thank God because you know what? He's such a partner until he invested on this CD. Wow. His own personal money. Phenomenal. Is that something? Wonderful. Now is that putting your mouth? <laughs> Ah, your buddy, well, your heart buddy. is all that's right, it. you know. That's it. That's absolutely that's right, phenomenal. and I and I just thank God because uh, a lot of men, you know, a lot of a lot of partners that say, "Hey, that's that's your thing," yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> you do that, and uh, but uh, in the industry today, there are a lot of artists that that are having to to uh, uh, make up the difference, mm-hmm. and uh, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, uh, we're in a different uh, era now. Yeah. Uh, uh, things that that were a little bit easier back in the day. Uh, there are a lot harder yeah. uh, things are more expensive mm-hmm. uh, uh, prices are way up yeah. sky high everything you know rehearsals everything I mean you can't get nothing free now all right? all right all right <laughs> so don't even ask about it. don't even try it you know and uh, I'm just grateful to have such a such a, a man in my life and such a partner in my life a love in my life that will say hey Tremaine I'm with you yeah. you know I'm with you <laughs> 
What did I tell you? My goodness. Lady Tremaine Hawkins, I absolutely loved my experience with her from the time she walked into the studio looking like royalty to her just simply sitting there behind the microphone. Just her very presence in the studio was so just breathtaking and an example that anybody in her presence would want to have that type of confidence and that type of security and that type of knowing who she is and whose she is. Oh my goodness. I smiled just thinking about it now. <laughs> as hard as I was smiling, then sitting with her. That's one of those experiences I'll never forget. Never, ever, ever forget. And I still hold on to some of her encouraging words to this day. And while that first hit hold on and my always hit holy one was many decades ago, everything she has done since then, just as powerful. I encourage you to go back through her library and just be inspired and encouraged by her music, by her voice all over again. And of course, I encourage you to make sure you hang out with me again. I've got so many more experiences to share with you. There's so many more lessons to get from just sitting back and reflecting on our encounters with each other, the places we've gone, the sights and sounds, the smells, the experiences, the Denise Hill experience. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Until the next time, you stay blessed. Thank you for joining the Denise Hill Experience. For more, connect with Denise at denisehill.com and on all social media at The Denise Hill. See you next time for more great stories and interviews inside the Denise Hill Experience.